way. We're headed out of Mole Bridge, headed west, crossing the Missouri River, just entering Mountain Time Zone. Going to kill some big bucks. So this is our view on the ride out from the motel the first morning. And on the way out, we saw plenty of deer. And then Todd gave us a briefing on what our plan was. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut off of here. We're going to hit that, just to the left of that high hill. Then we're going to work the brakes down that way. We got a north, feels like a west wind actually, I guess. So we're going to, then we'll work into the wind that way. Is it going straight that way or is it going it goes, down the hill? It's five miles that way. So that's five the way we're going? that way. Yep. We're going to go right through that first draw right there. Okay. Our plan was to slowly work through these hills and breaks while stopping frequently to glass for deer. And right away, we got onto some whitetails. Closer even, closer even. I see two bucks. Oh yeah. Right on that trail. That's a big deer. What is it, John? The first one? No, way behind it, way back over there. See the muley? Great big mule deer buck. See his ass between the two hills? I do. Walking away. Big mule deer buck. buck coming. Yeah. We're on the hillside here just waiting for this white tailed buck to move mm -hmm. out of here so we don't bump him out into those muleys. Mm -hmm. There's Todd going to go poop. That's too far, Jane. Oh, you bet. Should we fire at him? <laughs> that last one's a monster. <laughs> All right, so we have a really nice mule deer buck bedded. He's probably about 500 yards away bedded with a doe. And we watched this smaller buck walk a good mile all the way to him and bust him up out of his bed and run that big buck off. A little while later we came across this herd of antelope. And then we finished up that hunt that we were on with some pretty rough looking ground. We kicked a few deer out of it but I'm glad to say none of them were worth shooting. I wouldn't want to try to get one out of there. And then right here is where the GoPro dies. So we we're going in for one more last hunt at the end of the day. The GoPro battery dies, so we ended up hiking in without a camera. 
And long story short, Jay got on a decent buck. He took his shot and got his deer. Hey there, South Dakota 2016 with the crew from New Lisbon. First mule deer buck. South Dakota Indian Reservation. Spot and stalk. We put on about 16 miles today. Um, my ankles, my feet, my head, they're all pounding, killing me, but it was well worth it as you can see. Now the fun began. Now at the same time the three of us were hunting, Mike and Tommy were hunting a different piece. And this is the buck that Tommy got. <laughs> was, it, was it easy hunting, Todd? Yeah, it was really easy. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet okay? Fuck, I got son of a bitch. <laughs> So the next morning was another beautiful day, and we hunted a completely different piece of ground. It was just Todd and I because Jason had filled his tag and he had blisters on his feet. Todd's looking for a big mealy to shoot himself. <laughs> but he's pooping again, so he's over in the brush here taking a poop again because he does that a lot for some reason I'm not sure what the what the issue is with that right away we got on a nice herd of mule deer but there was only two bucks in this herd and they were close but nothing that was worth shooting So at this point we just let this last buck run off, continue on our way, and about two hours after the GoPro battery dies, I get this buck. All right, there's my first South Dakota mule deer buck. I got him thanks to the guiding efforts of Todd Forsyth. Now at the same time that Todd and I were out, Mike and Tommy were out and Mike shot this buck. A few days after Jason and I left, Brent and Kyle came out and they both shot huge whitetails. This is Brent's whitetail, and this is Kyle's. Todd ended up passing on a number of nice bucks, but he never did find the giant that he was looking for. So we ended up with six nice bucks in total, and some great memories until next year. <laughs>